Hello there guys, Francis Gray here and today I've got a new model custom to share with you all. This is the hit Ubisoft game Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Uh, basically it features the main assassin from the game, Edward Kenway, and his friend, the infamous legendary pirate Blackbeard. Uh, basically these were originally two f uh, statue figures that you could buy from Ubisoft when the game first came out. Uh, they came in two parts, part A and part B. So part A was Edward Kenway uh, with half of his Aztec base. And then obviously uh, Blackbeard was part B with his base. Now it, it looks nice as is, but over I've had these for a few years now and I've only just now got around to uh, making these. Uh, I really do like them, but uh, the only thing I didn't like was when you, because the the base came in two parts, there was like a centre crack leading down, and with the with the bases being mass produced, you usually found like for me personally, uh, I found that Edward's side was higher, was a couple of millimetres higher, and was a slightly more warped, and. Uh, this part, the centre here, had a raised, had a, had like a raised skull, and the left part was higher than the right side, and uh, it was also painted darker than what uh, Blackbeard's was. So when you put the two together, you could tell they were worlds apart. So yeah, I've always wanted to rework this. Uh, I, I've been the hardest part was actually finding a piece of wood for a wooden base. That was the same diameter, like almost exactly. I've tried for many years, like uh, to buy different bases, and I was always like rather a few millimeters too big or too small, and it just no nothing ever really seemed to fit right. And I didn't really want to sculpt like extra, like another, you know, because I didn't want it to come out too far because uh, I've, I'm limited on space. Where to display this? Because it's in a single, uh, single uh, skinny like file. Like, fuck, it's like a single cabinet, and uh, it only just fits in as is. So I didn't want it to be any bigger. But I managed to get really lucky with this because uh, I called into a, like a charity shop, and uh, somebody just donated some stuff. And while I was walking around, uh, the woman that worked there pulled out this. Uh, it was like a wooden. It's like a wooden base, but in the middle it's like a ceramic tile. But the tile was really badly broken. So the woman said to the, like to her colleague, like we can't sell this. You know what I mean? Like what? what, what why in F would she bring this in? So I asked her, it's like if you're gonna throw it away, can I have it? Because I might be able to make use of it. So I got a couple of <laughs> weird looks off them. Like why would you want this? But uh, thankfully, it was eg almost exactly the same diameter as the Aztec base base parts. So fantastic! So what I did was, I yeah, uh, I added uh, the first side. Uh, I think it was Blackbeard's side actually, because I wanted this to be more uh, like a, a more flush sitting, because uh, it was just shy at the back part where the tree is. But that's easily filled in and and mim uh, mim uh, to resemble the rest of it so that was uh, that was perfect Edward's side then sat about two or three millimeters over so what I had to do was I had to cut off the center trim of on Edward's base uh, so it was a few millimeters shorter so then it would sit flush so once I managed to get like them sat in place I just added some screws here and there I obviously glued it in place and uh, yeah, and then just basically yeah, filled in the centre crack with Aves epoxy model and clay, and then sculpted over the the uh, the screws so you can't see where those are. Uh, there was a few tiny little bits that overlapped, like this tree branch here. I think that came just over. So I just basically grinded them off with my grinder, and then I just sculpted what was missing, so it's all nice and flush to the actual uh, to the wooden base. Uh, the main problem that was going to be was originally I was tempted to keep the centre skull but as you can see it, it one side's higher than the other which meant I would have to basically re-sculpt an entire new skull face or take it all out 
and then like cut the front off a resin skull and then add that but yeah it just seemed a bit a bit overkill but luckily I had this uh, centre column from an old model that I never used so it was more or less the exact same diameter as the, as the, as the circle in the middle so I thought instead of like being a pain in the ass doing this skull I'll just remove it all add this column and then uh, like wrap vines around it to make it look more like a like a left destroyed uh, like jungle where the Aztec uh, buildings are. And also a happy uh, happy coincidence. Obviously, it fit perfect. Uh, but over the years, I've seen people sell their their, their Edward Kenwoods on like eBay and stuff. And every time I've seen them, nine times out of ten, he's always leaning to the right. And I think it was the way that Ubisoft made the legs or or something or where or people are displaying them the heat sources and the PVC's heated up and he's he's weighed more heavily to the right so he's bending to the right. And it makes it look like a little bit like he's doing a bit of a like a moon dance thing, you know, Michael Jackson uh, smooth criminal, I think it's called. So it looks a little bit like that. So basically I decided to uh Use this column, centre column, to pin Edward to it, so he's not going to go nowhere. Uh, this back foot just goes in its natural hole that comes with the original base. And then this foot, I basically drilled and added a pin, uh, so it's pinned in place. And then I aved epoxied over and then repainted the boots, so you can't tell. Uh, so Edward's definitely not going to go nowhere. Black beard, I've just basically added glue to his feet and just added them into the peg hole that comes f uh, with the base. Uh, I have I've seen lo a few of these for sale or people other people's uh, uh, versions, but I've never seen him like leaning any any like left or right. So he seems to be more central balance. So I'm not worried about him, you know, warping or anything like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep him as is. If I do see him starting to lean left or right, then I'll repin him or whatnot or. Yeah, I'll add, I'll add uh, pins into his legs or something, but I'm not really con concerned about Blackbeard, really. Uh, I think he, I think it'll be fine. Uh, so, yeah, so I've spent a long time repainting the base, the column to match the base. Everything's been completely uh, repainted from, like, a basic uh, pro grey primer. And then once all the paint job was done, and I added, like, leaf effect and grass scatter effect for moss... And uh, and all that stuff. I basically just went to my local pet store, and then bought a lot of fake plants, and then basically just drilled holes, uh, different size holes, so like little small holes for like these little individual bits of blades of uh, grass or plant that's coming up. Where the bigger parts, they've got like bigger holes, and then basically just uh, super glued them in place or PVA glued them in place. And then just build it up to make it look like it's been left, it's overgrown, and uh, yeah, and basically it's just uh, been left there for uh, decades. Uh, I really like the centre column, obviously, because like I just explained for Edward, it uh, helps keep him uh, keep him up straight. But uh, I also like that it looks like they're surrounded. It looks like they've been forced to like back up to like something and the it's like their last stand so I, I don't know who they're fighting could be natives could be other pirates could be uh could be the english uh, uh bounty hunters or something you know what i mean it's, it's up to you to decide what what they're fighting but basically they're uh, it's like their last stand which i think impacts it really more than just like freestanding so yes yeah, so uh, there's a couple of skulls and bones here. They they were on the original base as well. I just uh, repainted them, give them a slight wash of black after painting up the white uh, to make it look like they've been left to the elements, so they're a bit dirty and a bit grubby. Uh, so that's like a nice little feature. Uh, yeah, that's more or less it really. Uh, nothing else much to say. The main figures themselves are more or less as is. Uh, for Edward, the only things that was repainted was the boots, and uh, I added a slight 
tint of silver to the edge to the blade edge on the sword uh, and I also added like a black wash to his coat because on mine it was like a dark brown and then the insides where it should be really dark was light brown and it just didn't really make much sense so I give it all a black uh, wash to uh, darken it all down so it's all the uh, so it's, it's the right colours now uh, black beard, the only thing I painted on him was the the blades. For mine, they were like a, they were like a, kind of like a matte black with like a dry brush silver, but it just didn't really look right to me, so I basically just repainted the blades like a silver, so they like reflect the light when you, when you, uh, when you, when you, when the light shines on them. Uh, so yeah, uh, put all his uh, guns in place on his uh, on his belt there. Uh, put the guns in Edward's hand where they should be, and nothing else to display really. Just uh, just show it off as it is. So yeah, so a lot a lot of time and a lot of effort's gone into this, and I really like how it's turned out. I'm really happy and pleased with this, especially now that you can't see that centre groove you know I sent a cut between the two pieces uh, and I'm really happy now I now know that Edward's not going to be uh, leaning over anytime soon and uh, it's, it's the exact diameter to display in my uh, in one of my cabinets so it's it's perfect all round uh, for what I need it for so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please don't forget to click the like button and share on Facebook and Twitter because it helps new people find my channel, which I'm always appreciative of. Thank you very much. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out my uh, my channel for more video reviews and more model kit builds and statue builds and stuff. And uh, yeah, just once again, thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time and thank you very much. Goodbye.